Smart City ultimately hinges on the requirement for a wide communication technology. In a lot of instances, fixed line technology isn't appropriate. So the first question is, well, what exactly is a smart city? And you can see from the diagram, it's an urban area that uses different types of electronic methods and sensors to collect data. Now that's quite a generic term. And what we also need to include with that is we need to action that data as well. So when we look at a smart city, what does a smart city feature? Well, there's a lot of different aspects of the operation of a city that can potentially have uh, an influence and a positive effect from the inclusion of 5G into the infrastructure. Things like, and this is crucial, traffic management. So the flow of traffic through the city causes problems for congestion, it causes problems for emergency services, and it causes problems for pollution. So if we can be smarter about the way in which traffic is managed in the system, then we can potentially reduce pollution and have a positive impact on things like response times and also stress levels of commuters. We've also got the likes of energy consumption and the use case here is smart street lighting. So we can sense when it's appropriate to switch lights on and off. We can gather environmental data as well. Indeed, these smart street lamps can actually feature sensors related to other services. And then finally, we've got the likes of sanitation. So we can monitor water quality. We can have 5G connected refuse collection. So refuse is only collected when we need to. We can have manhole covers, which can detect gas leaks or water leaks. So the potential limitations really are boundless for smart cities. But in a lot of these cases, we do need sensors in the network that are able to collate data. So there is a process involved. We've got to collect the data. That data has got to be analyzed. It's got to be communicated across the network and we need to take action as appropriate to improve the situation or improve a scenario. And 5G is crucial to this if we are deploying sensors. And of course, remember 5G supports a connection density of 1 million devices per square kilometer. So if we are deploying sensors across the cityscape, they've got to communicate back to the network somehow to support this data collection and analytics process. So 5G and indeed 6G and beyond will be critical technologies to facilitate the notion of the smart city.